does he think he is? I just told you who I thought I was. Ollie Oxen. I just told you. That's who I think I am. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. It's your boy Ali here. So we're still in the process of getting the studio together. And one of the biggest things that I'm going to change before I cable manage the actual desk are my monitors. Now, when I originally came up with the SketchUp plan to have the monitors and have everything look the way that it's supposed to look, the biggest thing that I wanted to have was my monitors really close to the wall because on both sides, I wanted to have the speakers wall mounted as well. And if you look here in the model that I made, the speakers, they sit a little bit forward past the monitors. Right now, the monitor arm that I bought was a dual arm mount. They ended up sitting further out from the wall than I wanted them to, about 10 inches at this point, when according to the design, they were supposed to be three. Now, originally I bought two wall mounts that were designed for television. So when I got the mounts and I went to put the vase mount on the back of the monitor, the mount was too big for the computer monitor to the point where it covered up the inputs for the HDMI cords. Now, usually that wouldn't be a big deal, but I don't have the tools to cut through metal, nor do I have the patience or interest in doing it. The only thing that I do have is my 3D printer. Now, my biggest concern was obviously the weight of these monitors falling on whatever the tensile strength of the 3D printed part is going to be. But I knew two things. One, I can definitely design something that'll fit both the monitor and the wall mount. And two, I've seen people do some pretty strong things with 3D printed parts. And I don't know that these monitors are gonna exert that kind of energy. So I'm willing to bet it's gonna work out. You better hope that's true. I went into Fusion 360 and took some rough measurements of the vase mount spacing on the back of the monitor and the spacing on the wall mount itself. And I came up with these. These mounts are printed in regular PLA. They are printed at 100% infill. So this is as strong as it gets. And I had to print a couple because I kept messing up. So these are all the fail prints. These are all at 10% and you'll be able to see pretty easily the difference. I'm gonna pull on this full strength. What do you mean by that? And see if you can notice any type of flex. <laughs> you can see that, right? Oh. Heard the snap, it's even worse. So even at 10%, it's relatively strong, but nowhere near the strength that I would trust it to hold my uh, LG 4K and 2K monitors. I'll list the name of the monitors on the screen. But this, however, 100% infill, sounds completely different. Actually, they don't sound different at all. They sound exactly the same, but I promise you, this is a lot stronger. I'm sure it is. So the way the mount is set up, there are three cutouts, I guess you'd call them for bolts. One at the top, two at the bottom. The bolt sits on the top. These two mount inside and you put lock nuts on them and it's supposed to stay put. After 16 hours of printing, my two custom vase mounts are done and we're about to test out for the first time if 3d printed parts can hold up computer monitors crossing my fingers because if i don't this is going to be a very expensive mistake let's get to it
So we finally finished. I think the finished product looks really good. It's exactly what I had in my mind when I originally designed the space. I wanna go over a couple things in the video that I may not have explained during the beginning. The connection points on the mount that I printed, the bolts that were inserted, I had to basically super glue the bolts into place, have the extra bolts stick out the back end and so that the front sits flush with the face of the mount. So that's something that I didn't mention. Another thing, once I push the monitors all the way back to the wall as far as I wanted them, I realized that one of the arm mounts was in the way of one of the HDMI ports. Now that's not the same as my original problem. This was more so a design mechanic of the side at which I positioned the arm, but that wasn't an issue. I just got a right angle adapter. You might've seen that in the video and I was able to reroute the cable so that it sits as close as I want to without any type of interference. And one thing that happened, I realized that my power bricks, they needed a place to sit. Um, the power brick mounts are really cool. I did see a design on Thingiverse, which was in inspired by it. It's stolen goods. Thanks a lot. It was really subtle and very elegant design. Since I mounted the power bricks, I don't have to worry about any of the wires hanging down. You get this clean underneath the monitors where it looks like they're just floating. And the last thing that I want to address, there was a recess that was drilled into the wall that the HDMI cables pass through to go to the computer. I'll be going over that in another video. I still have to cable manage my desk and the Alex drawers. And we have a couple cool updates for that. I really can't wait to show you that one. And that's, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions or anything about methods that I used the files will be available soon once again I am working on my patreon page and I'm gonna have all of that available on the page the whole library of all the 3d printed parts that I use and create and I hope you enjoyed the video I had a lot of fun making this if you liked it please consider leaving a like leaving a comment or even best of all subscribing other than that I think we're done I will see you in the next video You want to be in the video, yeah? Do you? Come here. Come on, there we go. Sit. You feel better now? Getting some camera time? Huh? Oh, you are a ham, dog. A literal ham.